baby. Shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out to the homies. Shout out to Weird Guy. Shout out to Scott. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. Uh, uh, man, today been a social social network. Why has it been a kind of exhausting day? So I've been picking the time to tell this story because this story right here, man, this story right here is something else. So I'm going to give you the disclaimer now. If, first of all, wait, hold, on, hold on. This is my shot. You know, I'm to Nipsey Hustle. Rest in peace. But also, rest in peace, Pac Man the Gun Man. I really used to fuck with Pac Man the Gun Man. I think because of because of YouTube and fucking with Nip, I think that's how I got turned on to Pac Man the Gun Man. So I'm going to have a shot for Pac Man the Gun Man and Nip Hustle and whoever the third person was that got shot. But. Pac-Man the Gun Man, rest in peace. Nip Hustle, rest in peace. Because <sighs> this story right here, this story right here go crazy, crazy, crazy. But like I said, if you got a weak stomach, don't listen. So, in prison, right, we have to get money. We got to get money the best way we can. And sometimes, you know, we, we take chances that we shouldn't take. So my chance that I took is, man, I used to, well, I ain't going to say I used to, but I tried to bring drugs in through the visiting room two times, two times. And one time, it I, both times it went bad. But I'm going to tell you about the first time it almost went bad because this one right here, <laughs> this was a lesson. So I'm not going to say who brought them. But I call myself trying to bring in some balloons with weed in them. Yes, I did. I sure tried. So when I bring them in, right, I get them. They were supposed to be like the size of M&Ms. These motherfuckers was like the size of some boulders, right? So when I seen them, I'm like, I might have to pass on them. But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. So I got some extra soda. I, I swallow them down. Them. Mm. And mind you. This shit is already passed. This is years ago. I'm not in prison. And this is years ago. So I swallow them. Bam. When I swallow them, I'm, I'm feeling them scraping some shit going down. But I ain't tripping because the plan is to get back to the cell and throw these motherfuckers up. So what happened is when I got back to the cell, my celly, uh, you know, in this particular pen, you get, well, it's got bars. So you got to have your celly watch the bars. So this is, I'm going to tell it from my perspective and my Sally's perspective. When I went to the toilet to throw the motherfuckers up, I had a sheet up. I had a sheet up so my Sally can't see me back there trying to throw up or nothing like that. So my Sally was like, he said, he heard me going, uh, 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 trying to throw the motherfuckers up. He said, next thing you know, he seen a foot shoot out from under the sheet and start shaking. I was over there flopping like a fish. Man, I tried to throw that motherfucking balloon up, and it got stuck. It got stuck somewhere around here, and I couldn't breathe. So I was over there on the toilet, man, trying to trying to get this motherfucker up. I was over there flopping like old fish. He said my leg shot out and was kicking. <laughs> he said he didn't know whether to laugh, help me, or, or call a man down. So, <laughs> But I ended up you know, beating my chest, and the motherfucker went back down. Man... I didn't try to throw up no more, but I guess they was poorly wrapped. So I was getting high off and on for like the next four or five days because the motherfuckers was poorly wrapped and they was blowing up inside of me. So I would get high. I, I mean, I was waking up just, I was waking up loaded. I was waking up hella loaded because I think it was like two grams in each balloon. But boy, I was waking up gone. Like, what the fuck? So that's why I decided I would never bring in drugs especially hard drugs in a balloon because if you bring in hard drugs man it's a bad it's it's all bad because i know like three people that died man it was a homie in old in high desert the homie brought in some balloons with hair on in them but they was poorly wrapped so what happened is when he got back to the cell to try to shit the motherfuckers out he overdosed he died on the toilet i'm talking about on the toilet and then his celly tried to get the balloons that came out out the toilet 
And he tried to swallow him, I guess, or he tried to hoop him or whatever. And he damn near died too. He was a vegetable for a while, but I heard he bounced back. So that's why, man, if you if, if a motherfucker bring them some balloons, you got to trust whoever's on the other side because you could die. I know three people that died from swallowing balloons that wasn't wrapped right. That's why, but this is, like I said, this is a pass. So, consider this the interlude to the next story where it gets graphic. Gone.